simping and pimping. This should be interesting. If you guys don't know what simping is or pimping is, I'll just leave the definition here. Uh, yeah, so in other words, simping is basically you're exploiting uh, a woman and you're putting her on this high pedestal, treating her as a king, you know, saying all the right things, giving her money and all that for the hopes of getting in a relationship with her or just getting in a bed with her or having sex or whatever. And pimping is basically you use the woman as a prostitute to get customers and basically you share the money and things like that so basically both situations you're exploiting the woman for your own benefit just for simping you're hoping to get sex and for pimping you're hoping to get money and maybe sex so to be honest there's no difference between simping and pimping really it's really no difference really um obviously it's parallel because a man for simping a man is doing it for a relationship or sex and for pimping they're mainly doing it for money and uh maybe sex probably not but yeah so pimping is a business simping is not even a business you're just doing it to you're, you're wasting your time doing that really um but anyway let's let's see what this is about this is a video for all the simps out there and this is a video by it's complicated so let's get it started also by the way before i start this video if you are not subscribed make sure you guys subscribe there's a lot of you guys watch this video that's not subscribed so subscribe if, especially if you enjoy the video you laugh you enjoy my content or whatever subscribe i would appreciate it Anyway, let's get this video started. What's the difference between simping and pimping? <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, I don't. Mm, it's kind of the same thing, to be honest. Um, those are literally two opposite things. This simping is, no. is uh when you are the basically the customer. Pimping is when. Yo, what you're is up with all these girls wearing this like? crazy outfits i know it's vegas and everything but it's like bro it's halloween every day over there like it's literally a circus over there literally i say this all the time every time it's like yo she's literally harley quinn right now she's carnage and venom at the same time look at her hairstyle bro lust right next to her eyes like like she has a what is this called i forgot what this is called is, isn't this like a dog thing they put on dogs or whatever she got spikes things on her hand yo this and tattoos on yo she's crazy i can tell she's crazy um Wow. And she got the piercing on her nose. Oh my goodness. And black lipstick. Oh my goodness. She's crazy. The supplier. Oh, it's a difference between sipping. <laughs> you know, a million questions in the world. That's the one I'm going to get. Uh, man, it's a big difference between sipping and pimping. Sipping is when you're not pimping. You understand me? Um. Yeah, I said what I said. Um, okay, sipping. You're you just can... down bad. Probably about to get over it. Get your money. That's when you're pimping. Right, sipping is this? Taking a real. She's not from the United States. I can't. I can't get on. A nice sip, and what's the other word? Pipping. Pimping. 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 She's it's, not from the states. I suppose somebody who wants. She, to she, she's 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 uh, she's she's old too, so. Yeah, I, I'm talking. I'm talking in the video. I have to stop doing that. Somebody told me in the comments to stop doing that. I, I, I promise I'll stop doing that. I'm sorry. This is my last time talking during the video. I'll just pause it. I'm not gonna pause as much. I like. Um, and get paid for it, I guess. Um, but they get the money and you don't, and that's pimping. So sipping, pimping, and I get no money, and they do. What are the characteristics of a gentleman? Um, let's see. Somebody that takes you on an actual date, doesn't just use you for your body. Um, let me, mm, that's a really good question, actually. Um, I don't know, there's not a lot of gentlemen out here, so I don't really know, but. They let you think you're right, even if you're not. And. Oh my goodness, what is going on right here, bro? I'm literally watching a horror movie right now. Yo. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, what is it? Is it New Year's? Like, <laughs> they speak softly, but they know what they're talking about. And you don't see many around here, but when you do, they really stand out. Yeah, just to be respectful. A gentleman is going to always be respectful, whether what age you are, whether it's kids, whether it's an old person, you're going to be respectful. And respect go a long way. And it comes along with a lot of different lines of a lot of things. If you respect stuff, you just go about your quality of life a lot different. What would you call the female equivalent of a gentleman? <sighs> Wifey material. 
Um, a girl that really is there for you, a girl that takes care of you, doesn't just um, assume that you're going to pay for everything, do everything for them, and expect that they don't have to do anything in return for that. Should a woman who doesn't act like a lady expect a man to act like a gentleman? Definitely not. No. Can you define seduction? Yes. Me. Can you define seduction? Every time you look at me. Uh. Uh, what is going on? What is going on? Spicy. You're open with your sexuality. What, what, what did that have to do with the question? Like, what did, what did that whole, what did, what did this have to do with the whole, like, what did kissing have to do with that? I mean, I guess that's a form of seduction, but what did that have to do with, like, any of the question? Like, he asked for a question, not an action. But I guess she, she did answer the question. I guess. But cool, I guess. You're open with your sexuality. You own yourself, inner self, same as outer. You love your body. You're fully 100% of who you are. You're not ashamed. You're loving every single part of yourself. That's sexuality. You're like open book. How does each gender approach seduction? Oh, mm, that's a good one too. Let's see, um, a lot of ladies will show off, you know, boobs, ass, things like that. Um, men in their ways, they kind of, they talk more, you know, like their words kind of get ladies m in that way more. Women are more into like how they look, their body, their looks, physical. It's very important nowadays. And when it comes to a man, it's more like, kind of being the macho man, you know, like strong, macho man. protective, and in a way we're like, they own it. Do you think every man can master the art of seduction? No, but I have. <laughs> Not every man can master it. Most of them are shy. In a way we're like, they have it, but they won't bring it out. Why do men have to put on an act to be the bad boy to attract women while women have to put on an act to be sweet and submissive to get a man. Because it's the laws of attraction. It's the same reason why a bird got to puck his chest out and make a call to make the other bird like him. You got to do something different to catch the attention of the person that you want. What's the difference? Be, being a bad boy is an L. Being a bad boy is an L. You're, you're just always going to get yourself in a situation where you're going to uh, get clipped. You're going to get clipped. Don't act like a bad boy. Girls want a bad guy until a bad situation happens. So don't be like that. Don't be a bad guy. Be a gentleman. Be a man of God. And that's the best way to attract the woman. Being a man of God and being uh, a leader. Don't be a bad don't be a bad boy. You're always gonna you're you're gonna you're gonna be down bad. Don't do that. Difference between seduction and manipulation. Oh, Manipulation is more of um, kind of lying to get your way, you know what I'm saying? And then um, seduction is more putting yourself out there to get your way. Oh, we don't like manipulation. Mind games is not cool. Seduction, like you could see someone cute and be like, oh damn, I want them, like how I feel about you. But I would never manipulate her to be any type of way with me. Like if anybody says stop or no, like you respect them. It's a respect thing. And I feel like that's what I'm really curious on how the relationship is. Like, is she the man of the relationship or is she more masculine or is, or both of them feminine? I'm kind of because I know most gay relationships, one of them has to be more feminine than the other or one has to be more masculine than the other or whatever, especially in a lesbian relationship. So I'm very curious on how who's I feel like she's more dominant in a relationship because she has like a kind of a she, she kind of has a deeper voice than me. I'm not going to lie. And she's, she's like probably more feminine or whatever. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious. I, I just noticed they have two straws in there. They're sharing that. That's crazy. The difference is it comes with respect. Are women more impressed by what a guy is willing? Yo, this is a clown show. This is a clown show. What Spider-Man? What is this? What multiverse Spider-Man is this? What is going on? Like, is, is she like, where is this European Spider-Man? Spider-Woman? What is going on? And why does she have two microphones? Yo. <laughs> or unwilling to do in order to get sex. Oh my goodness. Willing. Every single time. Unwilling. I'm sorry, what is the question? Or unwilling. It comes with respect. Are women more impressed by what a guy is willing or unwilling to do in order to get sex? Willing. Every single time. Unwilling. 
you can make compromises because sometimes you're just not into the same things and that's okay. But if you're willing to like do stuff and practice stuff that try stuff that you've never tried before, you might both be into it. Wouldn't that be being a simp? Yes, but no. A simp in my mind is more like someone that literally just follows around and is your servant. Girls don't want servants. They want someone who's a challenge that is their own person. They know what they want and they're doing their own thing. But when they ask she has nice eyes. nicely and they ask more than once, they just want it. They're not begging for it and they shouldn't have to beg for it if they really love that person or like that person. And my microphone went dead. Oh, well, I have to charge it. But whatever. You get the point. Oh, I'm she's a content creator. I wonder what her YouTube channel is. I wonder if it's Spider Woman or something. <laughs> and she definitely looks like Spider Woman or I don't even know. Like, or I was going to say Captain America, but that would be corny because of the hat. Anyway. The microphone still works. Why do so many women go around? Go around thinking that they're queens. First and foremost, if it ain't all star, it ain't. And a lot of you females got it twisted. Look, a lot of these dudes are gassing their head up, right? Okay. And they got these females thinking that, you know, they, they more valuable than they really are. But at the end of the day, it's plenty of fish in the sea, and it ain't did no difference between you and me. So don't get it twisted. Own, look, if you ain't got your own car, your own house, crib, apartment, whatever, if you can't supply for yourself, how does that make you a queen? queen? If you need a man to take care of you or if you don't want to spend your own money for your own personal gain, how are you a queen? You that feel way. me? Let That's where they for show. That way. Why does uh they're high. Automatically they're high. Also, um most women do not wanna do that anyway. Most women don't wanna like feminist feminist women wanna do this, what they said. And that's what they're aiming for. But most women they don't wanna go through the outs and abouts, the hard work to get a job, pay get a car. They probably want a car. I'm not gonna lie. They probably want a car. But like they want the man to take care of all the bills, all that type of stuff. They don't want to go through the hardships of being a man. So that whole part they said is absolutely not true. That's absolute foolish. But um, and also I'm not saying that a woman can't work or anything like that. But what I'm saying is that most women nowadays they don't wanna most valuable women, women of God, do not want to work or go through the hardships of paying the bills and doing all that extra stuff that a man's supposed to do. They don't want to do all that. That's too much work. They want to just do it easy. You know, take care of the children, watch this, just clean the house, and that's it. That's that's what generals are supposed to be for. And that's more easier if you if you want to think about it. We don't have, you don't have to deal with the stress of that. All you gotta do with all you gotta deal with is the stress of the children and washing dishes and cooking. That's it. That's not that's that's kind of nothing really. Of course taking care of the children is like the biggest burden, but other than that, everything else is easy. There's so many women pride themselves in having their own car, their own money, their own job, when those are the expected qualities of any standard adult. Easy. You know what? I'm going to let you start. Honestly, they pride themselves so much on that because they got their standards set so low. You feel me? Mm. They, they expectations of people wanting to take care of them, get this for them, get that for them. So when they get it for themselves, they treat it like, like accomplishment. And it's like, you should have that already. It's regular degular if you're an adult. You feel me? And let me put it this way real quick. These ladies wouldn't be so gassed up about that if a lot of you gentlemen had your shit intact, right? Fact. So make sure you got your shit intact so when you approach one of these females, they ain't looking you up and down like you some uh, square off the street. You, you feel me? Motivate. Have your shit intact. For sure. Because... One thing they're gonna look at if we ain't got our own. You feel me? So, how you gonna judge if you ain't got your own either? So, that's be the thing, man. Stop gassing their ass up. Gassing their ass up. Less, less simping, more pimping. You Let, know what I'm saying, brother? Man, sure. drop, I would drop the mic if it was mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Seek God, then go about finding a woman, or God provides you with a woman. A woman of God, by the way. Don't find no belligerent, weird, uh, crazy, psycho woman. Find a woman of God that loves God. Wants to have a relationship with God and loves God with all her heart, mind, and soul. Find that. And get your life together with God first and your life in general. And then we'll find a woman of God. Don't do what they're doing. Their 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 mindset is not all there, bro. <laughs> they're 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 high. You can tell they're they're extremely high. They're high out of their mind. But um don't do no simping and pipping. That's no, absolutely not. No. Let's go. Do you believe a king can crown himself? No, I believe the people crown the king, and they, he doesn't have a choice. If everyone was a king, why would a king be special? Because he knows how to lead the people and lead the people fairly. Why do women often crown themselves as a queen? Because they know they could control a king if they find a great man, and they choose the great man. Behind every powerful king or powerful god or whoever the heck you want to think of it is a more powerful woman that will do anything to protect him and their future children. Why can a king marry a woman and make her queen, but a queen can't marry a man and make him king? That's a good question. I think it just has to uh, has a lot to do with men being seen as more powerful in a way than women. 
But a queen can't marry a man and make him king. I'm pretty sure they can do that. Where has that happened? In my mind. <laughs> but not in reality? I don't know, do we know? I'm asking, but you said yes. <laughs> I'm just wondering, can you give me an example? <laughs> um, Alice in Wonderland. So a fairy tale? No, the Queen of Hearts. A fairy tale? No, she's really real. Can you have a queen without a king? That lady's crazy. That la this lady's crazy right here. This is a perfect example of somebody you should stay away from. This is a perfect thumbnail. This lady is insane. Um, she's insane. I bet you she has like Chucky dolls in her house or something. Or Chucky posters all over her wall, bro. I bet you with mad tarot cards, mad like uh what's what's those things they have in uh and uh the thing that uh new age people have. Sages. She probably got mad sages up in the house, all of that bro. Like <laughs> yo <laughs> Um Alice in Wonderland. So a fairy tale. No, the Queen of Hearts. A fairy tale. No, she's really real. Can you have a queen without a king? Yeah, absolutely. Can you give me an example? Beyonce before Jay Z. Kim Kardashian before Kanye. <laughs> Speaking of which, Kanye needs to go back on us. Who are the bigger queens, alpha wow. females or gay men? Honestly, that's a good one. I have no idea. They're both good. But I think alpha females haven't made as far as the feminine sex goes. And alpha drag queens and gay men haven't made as literally the queen of queens. Why do the most powerful men in other countries have multiple wives? Because we're all hot. You definitely gonna probably need more than one. When they act like that, you probably gonna need more than one, dog. Cause one gonna be hot and one not gonna be hot. And one gonna be able to cook and one not gonna be able to cook. You know what I mean? So you kinda, you you might, different strokes for different folks. That's what I'm saying. Some people like one, some people like multiples. Why? Some people should just like one. I mean, all people should just want one. Having multiple is just causing a lot of problems. One is going to be jealous of the other. One is going to have a problem with the other. Fights are going to occur. You're going to want to do more with the other woman. And other. It's just a problem. One is going to enough. You don't need any. You don't need a thousand. Or just stay by yourself, bro. <laughs> like, come on, bro. This, this, this mindset, this double standard of men could have a thousand women. And a woman, when a woman has, like, mad bodies and all this. Oh, it's not. It's a big issue. Stop with this double standard, man. This is, that's super stupid. That's dumb. Stop having that standard. Y'all want to complain about women having a double standard and all this stuff, but we have this extreme double standard. We can have sex or have multiple women. Stop with this stupid mindset, man. It's actually annoying now. Like, it's starting to just get annoying now. Stop with this mindset, bro. This wasn't even supposed to happen in the beginning. I already gave, I already gave the comparison in my last video about Solomon, how he got bodied by having mad women he wasn't supposed to have. Just don't be a Solomon. Even though Solomon, he, he repented and he, he's in heaven now. He's good. He's valid. But don't end up in his footsteps. He was a literal. He was literally a testimony for that. So stop with this mindset of having multiple women in your head and having hoes. You're not cool. That having hoes doesn't make you cool. It makes you stupid. Why are you more likely to see a man with multiple wives than a woman with multiple husbands? Um, I feel like men. Okay, this is okay. This isn't me being rude at all, but I feel like men are just more. Um uh sexual in a way you know what i'm saying they need more than women do being part saudi arabian i'll tell you i think it's to spread the family name to continue the furtherance of business and frankly you know if you could date and equally get to know multiple people at one time and you're fearful of people embursting your money for false reasons like you know marrying you for your money or your business the best option is to have multiple girls because at the end of the day, if somebody's going to, you know, stab you in the back or whatever it may be, then you have the option of... Or they all could plot against you and take all your money and body you. Or some of those women could plot against you. And then you, then the rest, y'all have to figure out what y'all going to do. And they, are, and they are homeless in a box like Squidward. No, that's not good. Have one woman. Have a woman of a god. <laughs> Come on, stop the stupidity. If men you know? have always been in power, who made the law that men could only have one wife? I, I have no idea. Well, why would no a man, idea. why would a man make- God. God. Since the beginning. You shall leave your parent, your, your mother and your father, you shall have your wife. Since the beginning of time. God. If you guys don't know what God I'm talking about, the God of the Bible, Yahuwah. Yahweh, Yahuwah. Jesus Christ. 
He set that from the beginning. He set that standard from the beginning. <laughs> Just man started to change it around. Make that sounds lock. like that sounds like a woman with really good puppet strings to me. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, I think it's a female construct. I feel like, you know, the whole wedding ceremony, things like that, I think it's a women's construct that we've demanded from men because from the time we were children, we were expected with Disney movies to think that some prince is to sweep us off our feet and everything is to be perfect and there is no struggle and, you know, the birds do the dishes and that's really not the case. Okay, what is the case? I think the case is just like the rest of the world, everything is being synthesized and that everything is being over dramatized like for example diamonds are only valuable because they were marketed as uh, the woman's best friend diamonds are a girl's best friend or whatever but in reality they're they're replicable refabricatable you know chemically being able to be made and things like that and the reality of it is honestly i think if you're in love with somebody and they tie a piece of grass around your finger you should be happy it's complicated i'm batman okay we're just I don't, i'm pretty sure the rest of this is going to be like provocative yep it is so uh, I don't want this provocative woman on my screen. So we're gonna uh, go on to this guy that looks like that guy from the Boondocks, the pimping grandfather. Anyway, um, yeah, that bro, that was wow, that was simping and pimping. Uh, yeah, if you are a simp out there, stop, stop, sent, stop giving money to people you're never gonna get with. Jideon said this, and that's why he got banned. And that's why I can't go on Twitch because if I got, if I go on Twitch, I'm gonna get banned. But um, I can say this on YouTube because I don't think YouTube is going to clip me. If you are a simp out there, listen to what Gideon said. They are not going to have sex with you. No matter how much money, they're going to remember you. They're going to remember the money that you got. But they're not going to say you. They're not going to give you any cookies or any. That doesn't give you any opportunity to go on a date with them. It's never going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you. It's never going to happen. It can happen in your mind, in your imaginary mind, maybe in your dreams. Maybe. Maybe. But in reality, it's not going to happen. Women that don't have no personality, they're not funny. They have their, I literally watch their streams. They're boring. They have their mangoes out. They're showing all their bodies. They're in a shower tub, bathtub, showing off their body, whispering in a, in, a, in a microphone. And you're giving money for what? For what? For a hope of what? Now, I'm not saying if you really enjoy that content and you want to support, by all means, do it. But if you're, if you're on that type of basis of you're giving money, just donating thousands, tens thousands of dollars just for the hope of getting in a the bedroom with her or a date it's not gonna happen she's never going to have sex with you you're never gonna have a dream with her you're never gonna have a date you're not even gonna see eye to eye with her in IRL the only I, the only eye to eye content you're gonna see with her is literally through a computer screen bro stop donating money to all these female streamers that are doing nothing to your life but taking all your dopamine and taking all your your, your, your sexual pleasures in your imagination. Stop doing it. You're wasting your time. And stop pimping. I don't, I don't know. Pimping is not really, I don't, I don't know if that's uh, like a high thing now. I don't, I don't know if people still do that often, but I don't, I don't really care. Stop pimping if you're pimping, because that's a sin. But um, yeah, man, stop exploring these women for money, bro, because you're, it's never going to work. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. They'll remember your money, but they're not going to remember you like physically. On some like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, cool, dap up. No, they don't want to meet with you. They don't want to meet with you. They're not. That's not gonna happen. And nine times out of ten, they probably got a boyfriend that you don't know about. So stop wasting your time and stop wasting your money and save your money and give your life to Christ. Yeah, man. Uh, let me know how you guys feel in the comments section below. If you are new, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. On the road to 100 subscribers, it actually took me. It didn't even take me a long time to like reach like the amount of subscribers I have now. I have like 58 currently right now. So if I reach, uh, my goal is to reach 100 subscribers before this year is over. So, and I know it's going to happen. So uh, yeah, man, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I would really appreciate it. If you haven't, if you haven't already, give your life to Jesus Christ because he's the most important thing in your life right now. We're in the end times. You see how this world is folding. Rumors of war. Uh, uh, good is evil. Evil is good. A whole bunch of crazy stuff is happening. So give your life to Jesus Christ. That's the most important thing you could do right now internally and so wise. So just do that for me. The video on how to get saved is in the description. So make sure you guys click that if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.